I'm cleaning out drawers and I found this notepad in my desk drawer. Can you see this? A note from the mommy of, <laughs> then my name on the back. I have no idea how old this is. It's so ipgifts.com. I should see if that still exists. That's the brand or the website. So I'm gonna use it still. I'm not gonna send it in, can you imagine? But it's a good notepad. So doing a little straightening and uh, just fed the dogs breakfast. That's why they're in there. And I'm gonna feed the humans breakfast. So do a little scrambled eggs with some tortilla chips um, smooshed in there. And I am addicted to this salsa. I just wanna share this with you before I start the cooking process. It's Pace Salsa Verde. This stuff, this stuff is, oh, it's gluten-free, I never looked. Where is it made? It's from Paris, Texas. It's a different Paris, so. Ooh, cheesy chicken enchiladas verdes. Ooh, I could make this with, I might have to make this, looks really good. Okay, I'm off on a tangent. It is egg time. Michael uses the faux eggs, I like the real ones. Alright, so far the only one that's playing with the ball is you. Yeah. Wrigley, not interested. Mimi is off doing her thing. She always likes to explore the perimeter. She's funny. Rowdy is, uh, they put in new mulch. They've remulched. And, oh, sorry, give him a little privacy. And, and your paint. Like, I can't, everybody's doing bodily functions. I can't, I can't video anything. Anyway, here's the dog park. It's very windy. I don't know if I ever showed you all the dog park. There's two dog parks. There's a fence over there. And that's the little dog side. And this is the all dog side. And you can see all the dogs are just the Goldberg dogs. Nobody's here because it's 50 degrees, it's windy, and there's no sun. 51, forgive me. So, and it's the Panther Springs Park dog park. Run, run. Will he get the ball? No, lost he, lost he lost it. He will run after it, but he never brings it back. Only in the house. All right, nobody's here to play with you guys. So just run around and smell things you can't smell at home. <laughs> yep, Mike, I just got the alert. It was my Sephora package. Only? Yep. As we were leaving the house, the UPS truck was turning onto our street, and I go, ah! I bet that's my Sephora order. I used that $25 off $50 purchase to purchase a couple of things and also to cement my VIB Rouge membership for another year. I just squeaked over. I had $13 to spend. I spent 30 something. So I got the Clinique. Ah, sorry. I got the Clinique um, Even Glow Better Foundation. I got Invisibobbles. That, oh, and I got the Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliner on Emily Noel 83's recommendation. So I can't wait to see those in person. Still on my shopping list that I plan on using at Ulta, because I have a 20% off, is the Lancome Tent Miracle Foundation and a new straightening iron. Flat iron. Big plans. Huge plans. Okay, like, there is a guy. Like, you can't see his license plate or anything. He has a cat, he's just sitting there. He's been there for like an hour watching the dogs and he has a cat sitting on his lap. It's very different. He brought his cat to the dog park to watch the dogs. Maybe the cat gets entertained by watching the dogs. Kind of like how you can put like fake fire on a, on a TV. I just, I think that's hysterical. So I got two packages. I bought them both, these are not PR packages. The first one, I just had that $25 off a $50 purchase for being VIB or VIB Rouge or maybe just everybody got it, I don't know. So I was also needed to spend $13 to keep my Rouge status, which I did. So they, this is my new, what is this? I think it's a brush. Let's see, Rowdy, we just got back from the dog park and I'm waiting to fully thaw out before I take, stop. He's like all in here in my business. This is cute, ooh, I'm VIB Rouge. All this means is I've spent way too much money in one store. Okay, um, oh, it's a teeny tiny little, it says, cheers to you, VIB Rouge. Pour vous, membre VIB Rouge. It says that in French. 
Enjoy this best seller from Sephora collection. So this is the Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush, 56.5. What do I do with this? I don't know, it's cute. I'll hold on to this, I'll find something to do. Um, that here. And then I ordered the full size, I had the sample of the Clinique Even Better Glow in CNO2, because that's cool neutral, shade two breeze. Also says very fair. No kidding. So I have that. And then I also ordered three more Invisibobble hair rings. These are the best. They look like little old fashioned phone cord coils. See? And if you have especially fine hair, I highly recommend them. They're very grippy. And based on Emily Noel 83's recommendation, she's been doing the 12 days of Emily or something like that, or seven days of Emily recommendations. This is the Marc Jacobs highliner matte gel eye crayon and I got it in the shade Earthquake 41. I was told these are great eyeliners that it feels like a gel but it goes on like a pencil and always stays creamy. So is this a twist up dealy? Yes it is. Okay nice. I'm kind of over sharpening pencils so might need to get more of these. I'll keep you posted and see how this one performs. And then sample wise, I got Erin Mediterranean Honeysuckle Scent. I got YSL Mon Prairie. Here we go. And I had asked for the Erin Rose Lip Balm, but they sold out of it. So now I also got the Kevin Aquan Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation Sample. Hopefully in a shade I can actually wear. There's three shades here. I've heard really good things about that, so I'm excited to try those. So that's order number one. Order number two, my Wet n Wild order came in and all I've done is taken it out of the bubble wrap. I got three brushes. They're really nice, look how nice these, can you see that? Very nice. Kind of remind me of Real Techniques, the metal ones. This is a tapered blending brush. Can we open one to see the quality here? This isn't as floppy. This is very stiff as compared. I hope I was hoping this would be a dupe for the MAC 217 or even a Sigma. Um, it's much more stiff. But it, it's really well crafted. They have It has a little divot. Can you see? There's a divot right there. There it is, right there. So when you're holding it, your finger fits right in there. This is interesting. I might have to order more. I also ordered the fluffy blending brush, which would have been, I guess, their version of a MAC 224 or an E40 if you're a Sigma fan. Those are the only two brush systems I'm familiar with. Okay, now this is also a little stiffer, which would make it actually kind of a nice blending brush. And again, it has the divot. And this is, is it just, I don't think it's straight up silver. I think it has like a pink tinge to it. This is really nice. And then I also got the tapered highlighting brush, which could be used as a highlighter. I'm kind of looking for, a, a re, not a replacement, but more of a drugstore version of my Wayne Goss O2 brush, the only Wayne Goss brush I actually own. Um, it's a lovely brush. I use it every day. It's also very expensive, so I want to be able to recommend something else just in case. Do you want to know how to defrost that? Yeah. Chisel off a couple of the pieces in like 10, 20 seconds at a time in the microwave. Put it on a plate. Okay. All right, this is not as floppy as the Wayne Goss, but it is as soft. It's really soft. This would also make a really nice setting brush for under eye powder. I'm gonna order more brushes. I'm, I may have to order every single brush they make. These are really nice. It seems like there's a sheen to them. I don't know, they're really lovely. Okay, let's get to the quads. So I'm not gonna open and swatch these, it will take forever. I got the new Walking on Eggshells quad. It used to be a trio. They've added a transition shade, which was really, to make it perfect, they could have added one. If this was to, to be the perfect quad or the perfect palette, this is a shimmer. 
if they had added also a version of their um, crumb of their brulee shade, the satin matte finish, perfect quad right there. Um, speaking of which, I ordered another one because you can never have too many of these. I also got the silent treatment quad. I don't know why. I never liked it in its original packaging, so I'm not sure why I did that. I got Comfort Zone, which looks different, but I have been assured it is not with the addition of the transition shades. I ordered Rose in the Air, which many have said has many dupes for the Modern Renaissance palette. So there's that. I got Nude Awakening. I have to have this one. It's very neutral. And I also ordered Not a Basic Peach, which I think is a Kylie Cosme I don't know. It's a dupe for one of the Kylie Cosmetic kits or something. I have never laid eyes on any of those. I know nothing about them. It does look like someone put their finger in it. What's up with that? Can you see that? Do we care? We don't care. Totally looks like someone stuck a finger. But they're all sealed up and I'm looking forward to playing with them. And because I spent, I don't know, more than $30, I think, it came with a bag of stuff. Ooh, a Wet n Wild Kabuki brush. You see that? See how it has a sheen? The brush hairs almost have like a glittering effect. I don't know what's that. What is that about? <gasps> A unicorn glow brush. Okay. I think this unicorn trend is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. But I like the brush. It's called their highlighting brush. This this I could do without. This is weird and uncomfortable. But this is also could be a good setting brush. Okay. Adding that to the collection. Brandy wine lip liner. This is one heck of a lip liner. Look how long this is. It's the whole length of my head. A double-ended lip stick. Step one, what is this? Oh, this ombre crap. Ombre lip wand. So it's basically like a black cherry shade on the side. Very dark ruby red. And then a bright red on the side. I think this will find a new home. This is a Mega Glow Cheek and Lip Tint in the shade Flirt on the Street. Give that a go. And then lastly, what is this? A new Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Melanit Like It Is. Melanit Like It Is, people. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna put away all my goodies and get rid of the trash and get a quick lunch and then we're going to pick up my ring. Happy times, finally. And then we will talk no more of this, I promise. All right, let's get moving. If there are no more vlogs, or there are very, there's very little <laughs> to vlog, it is this man's fault right here. Right here, I'm catching up. I'm only on day three, so I have ways to go, but I finally took everyone's recommendation and started watching Christopher Allen that man is so lovely. Like he, like I want to hang out with him and be his friend, which sounds so stalkerish and creepy. But okay, I really want to put this down. My hand hurts. Anyway, um, he is such a joy to watch. I know a lot of you already watch him. If you don't, you should. I will leave his um, channel linked here, and I'll bubble it up there. And um. He just seems like such a nice, genuinely kind person who has like an infectious love of other people and he makes me happy. I know this sounds ridiculous, but like I dare you to watch one of his videos and not feel like this desire to run out and just start hugging random people and telling them how wonderful they are. It's very inspiring. So um, I'm going to keep watching. I'm only, like I said, I only just been to watch two and now I'm on to three and um... I did pick up my ring, and as promised, I'm not going to gush. I mean, I did gush privately and maybe squealed, and there was some jumping up and down and screaming. But um, here on YouTube, I will just keep it mellow. So 
Uh, it's a little big. We're going to probably have to resize it, but I didn't want to wait. So here it is. There it is. There's the new. I mean, it's it's not new. The stone's new. The setting is the same. There it is. There it is. The other rings have been removed, and they are redoing the wedding band. So that's next. And the anniversary band is back on the hand. It lived on before. So that is that. I am going to get to watching Mr. Allen here. And um, he just so just gives you the warm fuzzies watching this guy. Okay, see ya. All right, it's almost 11. It is 11.30. No, it's 11.10 because my clock is 20 minutes fast. But I just finished editing the vlog that you will have seen yesterday and got it all uploaded. So I'm going to call it a night. I'm already in bed. I'm going to read for a little bit. It just never ends in this house with the dogs. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you had a wonderful day. I did. See you then. What to see you then? No, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see, time for morning to go to bed. Good night. So short and